Today I'd like to take a moment to show you the probably the first effect that I learned when I started learning Photoshop. This is one of the first and earliest effect that I really took a look at and learned how to do. So I'm going to share it with you today. And I really don't yet have a title for this. I can't really say what it what it pictures, but it's a kind of cool effect. So I'm going to create a new file. Because this this was used for avatars back in the day on the forum that I was on, um, very popular for that. Um, I'm gonna do an avatar square size, but you can of course do it in different sizes. But I'm gonna do for the display too. I'm gonna do 400 by 400 pixels here, and it comes in with a white background here. So uh, if you haven't already, change your foreground and background colors back to the default ones. So press D for that, and then use option backspace on the Mac or alt backspace on the PC to fill this with black which is the foreground color. Next I'm going to go up to filter I'm going to down to render and then lens flare. So filter render lens flare and I'm going to start positioning my lens flare. I'm going to increase the brightness slightly here about 130 something like this yes 130. I'm going to position this in the top left corner here, click OK. Then I'm going to go to my filter menu again. I'm going to choose not lens flare just up here on its own. I'm going to throw in and hold down my option key so I get up the dialog box because I want to move this. So now I want to move it to the top right. I'm going to again go make, do a lens flare and I'm going to position this at the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it again at the bottom left. Now this doesn't look very good, not yet. So step more, I'm going to go to filter, I'm going to go to sketch and then chrome. So filter sketch chrome brings up this chrome dialog box and here you want as much detail as you can get and you don't want any smoothness at all. So 10 detail, zero smoothness, hit OK. So now you're beginning to see the effect here. And if I go ahead and add an adjustment layer here, hue saturation, make sure to click the colorize button here, you can make let's pick a blue color here, increase the saturation, decrease the lightness a bit, we're starting to get the effect that I want to have here. And because this was a bit too light for my taste, I'm also going to add a curves adjustment here, going to increase the contrast in this a bit. So something like this, and I'm going to go back into my hue saturation, maybe increase the lightness back up a bit. So this is actually the whole effect, just build up on four lens flares, chroming that, and then adding some color to it. So it's a really popular effect back a few years ago, but it's still an effect that holds. You can do it today. It might look cool on something, I just don't know what yet. So thank you for watching this tutorial. You've just learned my first effect, probably the first effect I learned to make in Photoshop.